And the way this works, by the way, the way this works is they are going to be taking turns, and you guys decide. I'll get lights. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> Thank you. Andrew's turn. <laughs> I got uh, pretty bad insomnia. I asked my doctor how I can cure my insomnia. He told me that I should try jerking off in my living room. My doctor told me to cure my insomnia. I should try jerking off in my... He didn't phrase it that way. He said I shouldn't use my computer in bed, but that's basically the same. He's telling me to... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that man, uh, crazy time. Uh, I try to wear the mask uh, all the time. I'm a good person. Sometimes I forget though, just because I don't leave the house anymore. Uh, I accidentally walked into a Whole Foods without my mask. Holy shit. That was a near death experience. I was just minding my own business. People are following me around and filming me. There's a Karen in the corner going, Call the police. He's going to murder everybody. I was like, well, I think I accidentally discovered what it's like to be black in Target. <laughs> uh, right before lockdown happened, last thing I saw was I saw a kid steal a Pepsi from a Dwayne Reed. So I'll take it. I saw him go through the doors. The alarm went off. Woo, 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 woo. And the kid just chucked it down the street. And I heard it, and I was like, that's a little dramatic for a Pepsi. I think the alarm should reflect the, the worth of what you stole. <laughs> so if you steal a Rolex, it should be like, woo, woo, woo. But if you steal a Coke, you'd be like, eh. <laughs> eh. Eh. If you steal condoms, it'd be like, nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. And then a hand pops out and high fives you as you're going out the door. <laughs> This show is gonna make or break it for me. Uh, I had a Valentine this year. Uh, she's totally real. She just quarantines in Canada. Uh, <laughs> I sent her flowers for Valentine's Day, uh, but I accidentally just sent her a box of seeds. She's like, here, you fucking figure it out. Uh, but I thought that's a good test for our relationship because I'm a fixer-upper, you know, so like, you know, it, you know, in 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 uh, in three months, if she takes care of those seeds, then she'll be ready for my seeds. You know, and, uh, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> okay, it's already not going well. Uh, <laughs> a supportive audience, still like this one. No, 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 no. I can't believe there's more to it. I know. <laughs> That's what audiences say every time. I hope the relationship works out, you know, uh, in five years on Christmas morning, I'll buy her a Lexus, but it's just the parts strewn about on the driveway. <laughs> I hand her a wrench, you know, and then on her 10 year anniversary, I'll buy her a plane ticket to Sierra Leone, like, hey, the diamonds are over there somewhere, you know? <laughs> if you still got fingers when you come back, I'll put a ring on it, you know? <laughs> All right, last one, here we go. I, uh, I have gotten into a lot of political arguments with strangers on Facebook, and I have figured out how to win all of those fights. Here's what you do. You find something you disagree with, you go on their Facebook, you start the fight, just really rile them up. Just like argue, 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 back and forth, back and forth, until it's like 50 comments deep, 60 comments deep, and then you delete all your comments. <laughs> So now this dude just having a psychotic argument with nobody. <laughs> He's just on his own Facebook wall going, you're a fucking asshole, you know that? <laughs> and then the next comment is him going, well, at least I don't have a small dick, you piece of shit. <laughs> and his friends are like, who are you talking to? <laughs> and then you win. <laughs> Things are starting to open back up. I think that's good. Uh, I, I feel like it's a little soon to open schools, you know? I feel like uh, school, you know, kids are uh, giant balls of disease in the first place. You know? It's no wonder COVID doesn't affect them, right? 
coronavirus enters a kid's body, all the other viruses are like, seats taken. <laughs> but uh, kids are basically giant bats, you know? They hang upside down, they poop on everything. They use high-pitched screeches to move around. But, but I think schools are very prepared for coronavirus. If a kid gets sick and dies, they already have plenty of chalk to outline the body. So that's <laughs> Schools use whiteboards. Calm down. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Rivers! Jared Barrett State, everybody. I got to say two things. First of all, tip jar is open. So I'm part of the screen is our Venmo. You can pay about at sdscshow.com, of course. Uh, super chat on the YouTube. And the other thing is... Uh, I have to clarify, it's not in the top right. There's nothing in the top right right now. Just wanted to clarify that. It's, it's what I said. I know that, Steve. <laughs> Adapt or die. You know what I, mean? I know, but this is the script. We have to stick to the script. <laughs> I don't know how to ad lib, Ben. <laughs> uh, Fair enough. I concede to your point. <laughs> but uh, the second thing is, uh, after, I mean, after seeing those sets, I, I can only think of hiring Kelly to open for me on the set. <laughs> No, you were both you were both fantastic. Very, very funny. You guys enjoy that? <laughs> I like the I like the tag team. You guys thought maybe you guys should do this as an act. Do you think maybe this is what you do? What? Is that a comic battle? Wanna do this in Grand Rapids tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> it's kinda of fun. I mean it's kinda of cool and then you guys can get dark like one you went dark and then he went darker. It's kind of a cool little battle. I, like well, I think it'd be funnier if one of us is super dark and the other one was always making jokes about plane travel and you know. <laughs> Oh yeah, ben, that, ben did that to me one episode. <laughs> the darkest I ever was on the episode, and he was just like all happy and smiley, and oh, I was yeah. just like, oh, game fuck entries. you. Yeah, he was like, yeah, yeah well, we were, we were doing pandemic pickup lines, and all my pickup lines were just like, hey, good news, I don't live with my parents anymore. <laughs> and, and then Ben was just like, would you like to go on a socially distant hike? It was really... Yeah, yeah it, was, it was very sweet. <laughs> Andrew, we should go sit in that chair so you guys can share that mic. That's a good idea. Alright, so we'll get through these quick. <laughs> Devs said, Rivers, Black and Target, I love you. <laughs> Cass Sibbles said, <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Sweet. For Jarrett, because that joke about the security alarms made me choke on my drink. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Gus Walsh, good job, Bert and Ernie. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Can we take a bath together later? You just walked Bowers. Is it you obvious? guys be burden on the rest of your fucking lives to me. That is so amazing. Is uh, it obvious to everybody which one is which or am I yes. just an idiot? Huh? You're clearly Bert and he's Ernie, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. For yeah, sure. completely. I'm Bert? You're yeah, Bert. you have the Bert eyebrows. You have the Bert eyebrow across your head and <laughs> skin of your face kinda serious. Yeah, I'll be honest, he's I thought like I could a jolly weird one, you know what I mean? We got both. <laughs> Hey, Bert. Bert eats, eats, eats cookies in bed, makes crumbs. <laughs> you have to explain to him what crumbs are. That's what you guys get for calling her Big Bird. That's great. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Ernie called her Big Bird? Yeah, we didn't, we didn't trade sets back there, too. We were like, you look like <laughs> Big Bird. <laughs> like, also, right now, when Andrew just proudly took... Took, per, took credit for having called her Big Bird a very Ernie thing to do. Yeah. yeah. Bert, Ernie, whatever. Ernie, he's Ernie. Ernie. Yeah, Ernie. Funny. I funny. forget funny. the words. They're both funny, just more responsible. All right, I got a lot together. Run, world! Bowers is the grouch, because he eats garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar's his name. Yeah, fucking He has a first name, it's O-S-C-A-R, motherfucker. <laughs> F-U-C-K-Y-O-U. <laughs> I love you. And Carmel is Snuffleupagus. I believe she's real. I believe she's real. <laughs> your, your sex life is Snuffleupagus. <laughs> I wish it was Snuffleupagus, you know what I'm saying? I no. Saying. Me either, really. I don't really know. Is that a sex derp? All right, let's get some tips for All these right. boys. And then we'll... Ron Gold sent 10 bucks for each of you. 
you guys and said I tried to tip in the top right of the void. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Savannah Hart, 761 for Jarrett. Hayden Lamaster, thanks for the amazing SDSC community, for the amazing connections I've made over the past 14 months. I love you all. From the host to the staff to the comics to all the wonderful fans, it's been amazing to spend the week with you guys in person. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Dave Adler, split between Jarrett and Andrew Taggart. <laughs> Patrick Yokely sent each of you 50 bucks and Ooh, said, nice. you both won gold. Yay! <laughs> you know what that means? Jelly bean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys eat a jelly she bean. told us not to eat the jelly beans. <laughs> that was a specific instruction. You gonna, yes. you gonna listen to Big Bird? She, oh. she started throwing up. Maybe she was trying to put it in my mouth. But. Everybody yeah. Big bird it into my mouth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. didn't work. She chewed it up and spit it in my mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Is it garbage? How bad? If there were ever two people who I assume would just yeah, shove really, something yeah, pill sized in your mouth like, you didn't know what it was, I would have thought it was you too. <laughs> these guys are road comics. They take, they like that. They're more of the regular. This one tastes good. Oh, my God. Uh, like cotton candy or something. Oh, you got lunch. Both of them were good? That good, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> they clearly. <It's> not dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> you would know. Hey, that comment, that comment says that we both got gold. They should do the Olympics like that. Why does it always have to be one winner? Why can't everybody win? You know? That's it. Right. They have that, it's just a different kind of Olympics. Andrea said, Andrew, as a black woman yes, who sir. has entered a couple of targets, I appreciate that joke. Thanks for the dark stuff. <laughs> And for a second, it sounded like she was phrasing that as Andrew is a black woman. Andrew as a black woman. Tell us. <laughs> Tim Stewart, awesome stuff, guys. Anna Hood, ten bucks for each. Abby Wright, five bucks each. Uh, Andrea Jarrett, you're hilarious, but your Natalie and Julio last night was a. <laughs> Whoa! I see a super sticker. Yeah. You want to back that one out? Sure, this is like, well, you just did it, but it's basically a Rachel looking chef with a sting on the side of the head, and she's got like a tilted hat kind of style. She's kind of going like this. Ah, delicioso. I've heard this. Thank you. Mo, how have you do, Mo? Nope. Uh, <laughs> Spencer Mueller, thanks for everybody on SCSC. It's good to see you all on stage together. Can't wait to catch up set in person. Perfect. And then Carl said, does Jared know that he's working tonight? <laughs> Excellent bit. Excellent bit. After no, no. that said, Excellent it doesn't bit. seem like he does know. <laughs> uh, Cindy Wood, 20 bucks each. So that's it. All Thanks right. so much. Jared Berenstein and Andrew Rivers, both who will be yeah. on the late show tonight with us.